What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenley here with Cleaning Green Lawn Service in South Georgia. Me and 002, hoping for a better day today. Yesterday was a disaster. You watched that in the last video, but uh, better day today, maybe. 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 <laughs> oh man. Well, it ain't starting out too good because we got a magnolia tree uh, back here that. Uh, He's just losing all of his little pods at the first stop here. Anyway, we only have, uh, what would we say, five to cut? Six. Well, five to cut yeah. and one to get pine straw off the roof. So, look at them squirrels. Man, he got him a big old pecan. <laughs> He's waiting to see what we're going to do. <laughs> it's a little pecan and run, buddy. Anyway, we... Uh, We've got the ladder on here. We only got one of the mowers. We ain't gonna need both of them today. We got the ladder to get up on that roof, get the pine straw off at the next uh, stop, and uh, cut a few, and hopefully get back pretty quick over to the mulch job and get that knocked out. So you know, we got all our, we got about 400 foot of fabric wheat barrier. So anyway, we're gonna get out here and get with this. Uh, the grass isn't doing much. I I don't even know. I don't even think I'm gonna record anything here. I'm basically just running over it. We'll probably move this one to, she could probably go to every three weeks, once a month if she wanted to or whatever. I don't know. I'll have to talk to her and see what she wants to do. But anyway, uh, we'll get you some footage of something today. All right, 002. We got number one done. About to go get some pine straw off the roof now. Instead of cutting the yard this week, we're gonna do the pine straw since the grass has slowed down. She asked if we could just get the pine straw off. Let me see, yeah, we can do that. So that's where we're headed. Oh, this ain't turned sideways, man. Anyway, there's the uh, pine straw. That's the most of it. There's some, we're gonna blow all of it off. Uh, that's a pretty steep pitch. At least a 612, probably more. Probably gonna be worse than that when I get on it. <laughs> anyway, we gonna get it done. All right, see if I can just give y'all a little close up. You can tell a discoloration. Well, not really just, I mean, it is discolored. It's not permanent, I'm sure, but uh, where the straw was, we did the other side. This was the worst one. We blew off these other little uh, roof lines. I don't know what that is, but it's well beyond a 612. And it's wet this morning, so I was having to try to be careful. We did drop some of it in the beds, which she didn't want to pay to have it hauled off, but some of that had been up there. It was at least a year old maybe two uh and i just couldn't leave that in the bed so i got it up but anyway hey you got my phone there we go all right i'll get some pictures this week's going great ain't it oh look double o twos done broke something else hold on it's got that static line uh, that keeps it from Up 
good line. Here, let me put this down and I'll get my thing. I'll clean it up later. Right I'll do it. Double O two. Double O two got the tools. He got the tools, man. Too small. All right. So uh if we get it to stay on there, you know, do we get to the house? I got a flathead. I probably got one in this toolbox, but the ladder's on top of it. Anyway, uh that is well property number three. One was cut pine straw, cut this uh this is a property at the lake. Uh, we actually about to go, I got to go look at a wiring problem on a boat for a guy real quick uh, from the church. He called me to see if I could, he's got something shortened out. So I'm going to go to the house, drop this ladder off, pick up my test light. Uh, and he lives right down the road from me and not far from where else we got to go. So we're going to run by there real quick and see what we can uh, fix up for him. Check back with y'all in a minute. All right, we are back at Mount Mulchmore over here. Uh, hadn't blown any of this off just put an edge around this uh, I mean there was places that this was uh, it was growing over pretty good not too awful bad um, the existing bed was almost level with the sidewalk here and so we went and trenched and threw the dirt back up in here and sloped it and uh, you can see down here where I haven't where I haven't raked it yet uh, Aaron shoveling I've never seen Aaron before. Here's Aaron. Aaron's YouTube sensation now. <laughs> Just like that. For all six of my followers. <laughs> 002's getting something to feed his cows with. It's cow feed, man. You enjoying yourself? <laughs> Tell me a lie, man. <laughs> You know, we got everything trimmed up, uh, cleaned out. I don't know if you remember this from the video yesterday, but it's, th this was knee deep in places. I mean, it was up to practically the brick. Uh, the customer had already cleaned out the front, but we got a little bit of cleanup to do back in here. But everything's been trimmed back, trimmed. Customers happy with the way uh, all the hedges look. We're going to dig a return on this. Now, this is what I was talking about. Uh, I'd put this on Facebook. Ow, man, that's a big splinter. Wow. I shouldn't have did that. That's going to hurt. But uh, anyway, that's two by four. I'll be rotted in no time, but that's what they put down. Okay. I'm going to get ready to level it out some, put some fabric barrier down, and uh, start bringing some mulch in. Just in case you didn't think that splinter was in there good. It was. Blood Brothers now. Oh, wow. That's a splinter, man. I got it out. Splinter? Yeah. I got it out. Oh, I got a seven. Lucky number seven right there. <laughs> that ain't lucky there, bro. Lucky number seven. Oh, that was in there. All right. That's what I'm crying about, y'all. <laughs> All right. We're getting going. Double O two and A Ron. You're putting that weed fabric down. Been working too hard to get any footage. <laughs> Getting it done. That's looking good. All right, we rolling now. I've just got to blow everything off. We rolling now, bro. Grab that thing and rip it off, man. It made the rip off. I know, but I wanted to. Yeah, 003. He likes to pull a knife all the time. No, what's up with that? Look at these boys here. Look at there. Look at them. They're like a cement truck, man. Savage with the baggage. <laughs> I mean. I don't know if they're going to leave that and that and this, but they doing good. <laughs> yeah, man, stuff them in there. They'll be all over the yard. Here. 
Yeah, I'll make sure I come back and touch these places up now where all that stuff, ain't, you know, it ain't thick enough. Oh, yeah. It needs to be a good two and a half, good two and a half inches. You're going to have to dump some more on that. Got gotcha. you. All right. We're getting closer. Well, if you wanted to, that's not all I was getting at. up edged everything I run the sprinklers uh, well in fact I got these down here running right now I had to move a couple of sprinklers sprinklers I don't know if I mentioned that and honestly where they got these behind there they're not watering any of this stuff out here but they didn't say anything about moving them so you know I just did what they asked me to do uh, and they might not even notice that I mean if I'd have noticed I would have asked about it but I just noticed it now so uh anyway nice place here uh i think the beds look good so you know we're gonna uh i need to get the vehicles moved out the driveway hey we're gonna need that now we'll get the vehicles moved out the driveway and take the blower and blow all this off real good and uh we'll be done with this project so Get her done. All right, I know went into retirement. We ain't got but one more on the trailer. We're gonna go out and knock out about three little ones. It ain't gonna take us. This one's about, they about 15, 20 minutes a piece. I don't know, with, with two people, they probably more like 20. We don't have the other mower, so. Normally one guy trim and be two mowers on this one, but. Oh, I thought I thought Jacob always trimmed here. Hmm? I thought Jacob always trimmed here. He does, but I thought he was good. Oh, I got you. Since he had all the trim yards with that. But you, <laughs> you got them trimmer legs. 003 got the trimmer legs. Man, look at them high dollar shoes he got on out here. Golly. Some things are three and a half years old. Oh, my goodness. Woo. Hold up good, though. I bet you one thing, he ain't spent none of his money on those shoes. <laughs> Mom and Daddy's money. They owe, he said they owe him food, shelter, and clothing. They have to buy his lunch when he works with me. By the way, you'd probably quit today. You know what time we went to lunch? What time? We ain't been. <laughs> we ain't ate lunch. I gave 002 an oatmeal cream pie at 11 o'clock. <laughs> uh, yeah, I probably would have quit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know you would have quit. He can't take that not eating. Well, we just got busy and then... You got in the middle of a drive well, yeah yeah anyway yeah we ain't ate today all right we got one one more small one got the x1 going 003 on the X1, 002 on the 2620. Echo. I'm boss man. Boss man today. <laughs> uh, I ain't carried about 60 bags of that mulch. 003 is fresh. You've been sitting in the classroom all day. Ready to get out and do something. Actually, we got all this stuff on the trailer from the mulch job. And uh, we're going to unload it, but I didn't want to have to go and take all this off, put the other mower on. I had to take my blocks off that lock my mowers down or keep them in place to have the pallets of mulch slid on. So, um, anyway, we're going to go out and do a pretty big cleanup tomorrow. Probably get y'all some footage of that. Uh, but that's it's a five acre property. Uh, got to cut a tree down, trim a pond on it. Uh, got to knock this one out. Got one more small one right down the road here. Uh, he didn't want me to record it yet, so this will be our last one for today. And 
and uh, we'll go home and get the trailer unloaded and get it set up for tomorrow. Then we'll get out and get some work done tomorrow. So anyway, I'm going to close out the video here. My prayer for you is always the same. The Lord might richly bless you. As you might see all of your blessings, ask from Him. Hope you all have a great, great day.